He'll see it was a mistake parting ways. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacular. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's Venomous Tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember. Eat that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. This must be it. This must be... How to find that venomous tentacular? Do not let Mr. Lawley see me. Hello, Amora.
Revelio. Now that I have the Venomous Tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Revelio. Leviosa. Revelio. Completed that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Rebellion. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
here full of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. will be safe with me till they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Always open, you be sure. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. I'm told that last Clementine had you chasing butterflies all through the forest. <laughs> She's quite a one, that girl. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Revelio. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts, or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income, to be used for potion ingredients and labor, and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. 
and I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Nice to see you, my young friend. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready.
There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest.
I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Thank you. 